Journey asked if this was the right place. <laughs> she said, are you sure this is the right place? Did you brush your hair? Anybody brush her hair? Oh, okay. I want to touch the top. <clears throat> We're going to write our names on it. I said, if you touch it, this will probably be the only time you ever get to touch it. And you can always say, I touched that. But it's way up there. I always like to be front row. <laughs> and you're on. Okay. You're gonna slap some stuff in a crock pot. It looks like it says tenderloin. You got two tenderloins. Yeah. One costs more than the other. We're having two pork tenderloins. We're having two pork tenderloins. Because one wasn't big enough. And it looks like we're having a recipe out of Southern Live in 1984. So we're having a 40 year old recipe. Yeah, put that away. We're going to see what 40 year old tenderloins taste like. I think it was supposed to be a, a pork a Boston butt, but I'm not doing Boston butt. Where did that one? So my husband's doing the commentary. So the recipe is for Boston butt, but. I like pork tenderloin, so I'm doing pork tenderloin. And we bought two, so we have enough for everybody. And I am doing this in a crock pot, not in the oven, so. Because I am all about crock pot meals. Crock pot is my friend. Okay. Okay. What do we do first? All right. You brush the pork with mustard. Okay. You want to go get your hairbrush? Yes. Or you want a comb? It doesn't say comb. It says brush. So. Do you have a? With Dijon mustard, how much? I believe that is one third. Cup. One third cup. One third cup. We're just eyeballing because that's the way we do. What is this? I don't know what this is. Okay. Oh. Oh! Throw it out. You got mustard water. <laughs> mustard on it. Nobody water. Wants mustard water. Okay. Even Dijon mustard water. We're just going to brush. Oh, your, your definition of brush is totally different than well, you what know, it was in 84. We got a little extra. Okay. Whoa! Okay, now what? Holy smokes. <laughs> You're going to have some meat with that mustard. Okay, then you coat it with brown sugar. Okay. You want me to tell you how much brown sugar or you just want to eyeball it again? Oh, you can tell me how much Half sugar. a cup firmly packed brown sugar. Okay. But see, I'm, I'm doing two of these. That's for how many pounds of roast? So you, good gosh. Oh, four to five pounds. Pops of butt pork roast. Okay. I didn't even check the pounds. It's all right. Okay. okay. So we need a half a <laughs> cup. This is a third, so I'm probably going to do two of these since mine's bigger. It's always best if you put it in your hand. Yeah, coat, don't clump it. Okay, then what? Um, mm. Brown pork on all sides and hot oil in a Dutch oven. Okay, we're not doing that. Transfer roast to a platter. Yeah. Add onion. 
Hold on, baby. Yeah, we've got to uh, add onion to Dutch oven. Cover and cook five minutes. Stir occasionally. Okay. Return meat to Dutch oven. Add broth and pepper. Okay. Cover and bring to a bowl. Remove from heat. Okay. Bake at 325 for one hour. We're, we're on the phone, honey. Okay. So, it says two medium onions. Uh... see onions in here. Oh wait, yeah, two medium onions, onions, thinly sliced. So I just did one and a half, and these are purple onions. Mm -hmm. I had half left over from yesterday from our hot dogs. This is actually a lot of onion. It's okay, we're gonna go with it. We don't know until we try, right? Okay, so then, how much broth, beef broth, oh, pepper, we gotta do our pepper. Quarter teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon. Mm -hmm. I don't even know I want you to guess at it. You're cooking with Pam, she don't measure. We do it until it looks good. Okay. Okay. Um, two teaspoons of cornstarch. I think that's to thicken it up. We'll do that later. Okay, you need one ten and a half ounce canned beef broth, undiluted. Ten and a half. This is this is thirty-two ounce. I'm just gonna do it until I kind of see it, which would be about there. So I used about half of this. Okay. And then a uh, tablespoon, a tablespoon of cold water. That's for the. That's to make your your gravy out of the. Uh, I would have done ruined this by now. <laughs> that's uh, not, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. That's yeah. That's for browning your meat. Okay. So now what? I guess that's it. That's it. I'll yeah. Close the book on that deal. Yeah. We just improvise when we do crock pot meals. As long as we're adding the correct ingredients. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I always put your meat wrappers in the freezers, kids. They won't sink up your trash. But, uh, and your husband will appreciate you. Yeah, you got to turn it on. Also, remember to turn on your crock pot. And I'm gonna cook this on high for at least six hours. Ew! Why are you wearing those? <laughs> Tell me you're autistic without telling me you're autistic.
naughty girl. No, she's nice. Walk at that one. This in case you're not watching. Put them in. You put them in the, the mama net. So it's 547. And here is the pork loin. I added the um, cornstarch so to thicken up this gravy. I had a little taste. Tastes pretty amazing. Get ready to do some okra. So my flower is starting to dance, so I'm going to go ahead and put my okra in. That was my sign to pop open my biscuits. Whoa! Put on my dirty stove. Pamela jams. <laughs> I just put this t-shirt on earlier. Oh. Wait, where were you? Um, my shirt has like elastic and then holding Thomas and my shirt kept pulling down and stuff. So I changed my shirt. Anyway, we had a nice visit with Thomas. And dinner. Okay, so dinner, you guys. I'm going to screenshot the recipe or I'll put it down I'll put it in the comments that's what I'll do because I know I'll forget to put it in the description but I'll put it in the comments um absolutely divine everybody loved it it was delicious and you guys saw that I didn't actually like measure anything out um I just you know eyeballed it so basically I just put the the pork tenderloin in the crock pot. I put mustard on it, Dijon mustard on it, and then brown sugar on top of that. Poured beef broth and then put onions and then pepper. It was just, it was phenomenal. It was delicious. It was absolutely, like I didn't expect it to taste that way. It was kind of sweet, but it still had that really good just taste to it. So anyway, um, I highly recommend it uh, and then we had mashed potatoes fried okra and green beans and a biscuit and then we just had ice cream for dessert so uh, anyway 
I'm going to work, I have to embroider out a few orders. Um, I think there's two shirts I want to say, two or three shirts, I don't remember, two. And then I have to do, it's actually a pouch I have to do and two aprons. One apron because I sent, I messed up, I sent it. Oh, do you guys like me? Let's change the subject. Um, so they said I put the wrong, well, so first of all, it is my fault. I'm not saying it's not my fault. I'm saying it is my fault. But they needed it by a specific date. And so I was like, well, I'm going to hurry up and get it done. It's a good thing. Because if I would have sent it by the ship date and they got it and the name is wrong, you know. So anyway, they got it. And the name is I-O-V-A-N-N-A -N -N -A maybe. Ivana, Ivana, I don't know, um, but when you look at it, it looks like L O. What I say A. No, L O V A N N A Lavanya Lavana, yeah. So I, you know, so I put an L, and this was supposed to be an I. So I have to redo that. But I'm like, if I don't have, because I ordered a turquoise apron. And if somebody orders a turquoise or a purple apron for me, I usually, nine times out of ten, include a free hat. Because, see this bin up here that's overflowing? Nothing but purple and turquoise hats in that bin. So way back when... Um, when aprons were like nobody was doing aprons uh, and I don't I don't be like oh my gosh I'm the first one but yeah there was nobody nobody doing aprons nobody was doing aprons and so um, I sorry squirrel cats I'm like what is she doing she's she's a strange cat um, but yeah um, so when I was doing aprons nobody else was doing aprons so it generated a lot of income for me and you know was really big um, and so I had to get my aprons I would order them from um, what's that called Ally Ally Express however you say it. So I'd order them in bulk and then sometimes you know I would have to look elsewhere. So I found a place that had them and they sold them in sets of six with hats and so because everybody wanted purple I would get the purple and turquoise. Tur purple and turquoise were like the popular colors. And so um, so if I ordered that and I wasn't offering hats at that time um, I would just keep the hats. Sometimes I would just throw them in you know just here you go. So I have quite a lot of hats. So if somebody orders a purple or a turquoise apron, I nine times out of ten throw in a hat. So I sent them her her apron with the wrong name on it. <laughs> and then I was like, if I don't have turquoise, because I'm pretty sure I don't, I haven't really looked out there. Um, but that's where my aprons are. Um I have one here, but this is for somebody's order. I specifically ordered a packet of aprons because I needed the hot pink for one, I needed the purple for one, I need the turquoise for one, and I need the pink for one. And they're all size small, so, um, yeah. But where I was going with this was that they were like, well, if you don't have purple, turquoise and green um, but I'll need a hat to go with it and I'm like hold up I understand I made a mistake but a hat doesn't come with it the hat was a free bonus and now I'm like it's almost like one of those like you put your foot in your mouth kind of deals like 
Man, I wish I really wouldn't have sent that now because now they're going to expect it. Um, even though I put on there, please enjoy this, you know, free hat. You see what I'm saying? But I'm like, oh well. So, as soon as everything gets heated up, it's almost heated up. I'm going to see what there is to watch on the old YouTube. And get some work done. I hope to be in bed by midnight. And if I'm not done, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set my time. I'm going to stop working at 11. If I'm not done at 11, it'll get done tomorrow. We don't have any appointments or anything tomorrow. And so, I mean, we might go and get us a coffee. Who knows? But anyway, yeah. So these are the chicken earrings. They actually kind of went with the shirt I was wearing today. But they're just too good to not to share. Anyway. I lied. <laughs> um, you guys, it is 12.41. So I didn't stop. It was 11.30 when I finished the other shirt. So I made two shirts, two aprons, and a pouch. And so I was going to stop after the two aprons, the pouch, and the shirt. It was like 11.30 something. And I was like, we might as well just go ahead and start this shirt. So I started it. And then um, I was like, well, I've got to, um, I had to hot glue the ribbon trim. It goes with the ribbon trim. And the ribbon trim is already in the box and made. So I'm like, I might as well just, you know, do everything and so here we are it's done I was like you know I'll just um because at that time I was like I was watching create with Linda and she's still talking on my phone <laughs> um but I was like I might as well just go ahead and get it all that way I don't have to worry about um coming down here in the morning to work and you know I do. I think I counted up. I got three shirts, four shirts to make tomorrow. I don't remember. But I'm like, yeah, if I do a couple, I'll probably do a couple in the um, morning, afternoon. Um, and then I gotta figure out dinner. So I've got steaks. I pulled those out. So I think if we did. Um, I was going to do steaks on the Blackstone, but I got Zumba, so I'm trying to, I'm rethinking my, rethinking my plans. I also pull, pulled hamburger out. Can I make something with that? I don't even know. Well, if I did steak, I got asparagus, and I can do some of the where I chop up the potatoes and add some peppers and onions to it. Sorry guys, my big old booty in the way. I got big booty Judy problems. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll have to figure it out. Let me sleep on it. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And then... I need to go and figure out next week's dinner plans. Yeah, so anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful Sunday. I hope you all are liking my new channel. Um, I know probably nothing has really changed for you all besides there's no ad. <laughs> you guys don't have to watch ads. I personally don't... Um, do it so I pay the subscription which I'm I was debating on dropping because it's gone up so I don't have to watch ads um, and because I can use that subscription and write it off on my taxes because 
I do make money on YouTube, so I can use that and just write it off. Um, can I ask you what you're doing awake, my love? What's wrong? Hmm? Were you sleeping? You weren't sleeping? I just want to go to bed with Dad, then I want to get off so I want to go to sleep first. Well, let's go to bed. Okay. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Does it taste like? I thought it was pretty darn good. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, it is good. Mm. Tell me video. What? Was it really good? Really good. Really good. It's real good. It's real good.